Welcome to the Minute of Strength. Last week we answered Sunit from California's question on what size bell she should start with. Well, to back it up even further, what size bell you should start with might be the dumbbell, not the kettlebell. Uh, we're always assuming that people want to start off with the right size kettlebell, but what we're finding is if you start building the base with some of the vintage work that we've been providing you with, you get a much, much better result when you, when you transition into true and authentic kettlebell lifting and, and kettlebell training. So for, for me, the real answer to that question would be start out with a dumbbell and of appropriate weight. And what's nice about this is the challenge really comes from what you can hang on to. And what I mean by that is look at this, two and a half inch thick grip. This is a 44 pound kettlebell. If this were loaded to 44 pounds and you had to swing this overhead, you might be, this might be your challenge where you might need in order to get that posterior chain fired and because you can hang on to this just by hooking your hand around it you might need a 53 or 72 pound kettlebell all right so offer this as your challenge if you, if you can hang on to this and sweep it overhead you'll have a fantastic result when you transition into kettlebell training all right give these exercises a shot and let me know how you make up